for this lesson, we'll engage in a little activity. You can either follow along on screen or take out a calendar and follow along that way to appreciate what a human lifetime means in the grand scheme of the history of the universe when it's condensed to one calendar year. We'll pretend that the Big Bang occurred on January 1st of this year, and then slowly go from there to determine what happened and when. It's midnight on January 1st of our calendar. The Big Bang has occurred. No, not the Big Bangs of the fireworks going off on New Year's Day. I meant the start of the universe. The reality is that this happened 13.7 billion years ago, when no fireworks were even around. 15 minutes later, as if this date has little day planner-like sections in our calendar, the first neutral atoms of hydrogen and helium have formed. Without these guys, the rest of the calendar would be blank because they're as necessary to everything in the universe as food and water is to you on a daily basis. Roughly two and a half weeks later, the first stars and galaxies have come about, meaning the first neighborhoods were being built really early on in the universe's history. This is actually around 700 million years after the Big Bang. But it's not until May that the thin disk of the Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy where the Earth resides, has formed. By September of our year, things get a lot more relatable. On September 1st, the solar system has begun to form. Hence, later that same month, the moon and Earth are born. Who knew that Earth was a Virgo? Towards the last week of September, the first signs of life appear on planet Earth. Except, this life was at first invisible to the unaided eye. As far as we know, E.T. didn't fly over in a UFO and drop some animals on Earth out of nowhere. Instead, things had to evolve on Earth pretty slowly. And so, it's not until November, about 11.7 billion years after the Big Bang, that more complex life arises. In mid-December, the first vertebrates, animals that have a backbone, evolve on our planet. Dinosaurs appear approximately one day after Christmas and are all dead four days later. Poor things barely got to use their presents. Luckily, mammals are born a day after all the dinosaurs are born, but our mammalian ancestors survived the asteroid impact that kills off T-Rex. Good thing too, or else we wouldn't be here today. The asteroid impact that kills the dinosaurs is like December 30th on our calendar, or only 65 million years ago. At roughly 11.52 p.m. on New Year's Eve, Homo sapiens, or humans, appear. Talk about a late arrival to the party. Agriculture is developed only 23 seconds prior to the ball dropping in Times Square. The wheel is invented only 15 seconds before the new year, and Columbus rediscovers the new world one second before midnight. So, where does your life fit into all of this? If you live to be roughly 75 years of age, that will equate to 0.17 seconds of an entire year if our universe's history is condensed to 365 days. That means that on this scale, a person's lifetime is faster and shorter than the blink of an eye. That puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Anyways, let's create a summary of our cosmic calendar. On January 1st, the Big Bang occurs. In May, the thin disk of the Milky Way galaxy, the galaxy where the Earth resides, has formed. In September, the solar system, Moon, Earth, and the first signs of life on Earth appear. In November, the first complex cells come about on our planet. In mid-December, the first vertebrates, animals that have a backbone, evolve on Earth. At around 11.52 p.m. on New Year's Eve, Homo sapiens, or humans, appear. One second before midnight, Columbus discovers the new world, and less than 0.17 seconds ago, you are born.